Stampers. Thanks for stopping by Stampin' with Crafty Clock. Today we're going to focus on the Snowflake Splendor Suite, which is in our August to December mini catalog, and that's on pages 36 and 37. So the suite includes everything you see on this page, the beautiful designer series paper, the stamp set and the matching die cuts, the embossing folder, this balmy blue glimmer paper, these beautiful blue gems, and some ribbon. So let's take a look. So here's that gorgeous balmy blue glimmer paper. Isn't that lovely? And then of course you have this beautiful iridescent snowflake ribbon. Can you see the shimmer and shine in that? And then you have these lovely blue gems. Again, they have that iridescent quality to them. It makes them look so pretty. We have our lovely stamp set, which has 17 photopolymer stamps that includes several snowflake images as well as several sentiments. And these compare with our stamp cut and emboss dies. And you have several different snowflake dies as well as this really pretty rectangular die for cutting out a label. And last but not least, we have that gorgeous designers. Oh, we have, sorry, one more thing. We have the embossing folder with the snowflakes on there. And then last but not least, we have this gorgeous designer series paper. You get 12 sheets, two each of these six designs. It's all double-sided. And I love our double, it's like a love-hate relationship with this double-sided paper because both sides are always so pretty that I love to use it, but I hate to waste the other side that's not showing. But those are the choices that you have to make. So, and again, don't be afraid to stamp right on the designer series paper. That's what we're going to be doing in today, um, today's project. And I love the fact that they have different colors that match up. So for example, I should have kept my page open but the colors that match this designer series paper include Highland Heather, Pool Party, Coastal Cabana, Balmy Blue, Pacific Point, Misty Moonlight, and Night of Navy. So really some really gorgeous colors there to work with. So let's take a look at the two projects we're gonna be working on in this video. One is a really very quick, simple stamping. It's nothing more than cardstock and a couple of stamps. So it's really just stamps, ink, and paper. So we're gonna go ahead and do that one real quick. And this is a great project for a beginning stamper. And look how we stamped right on that designer series paper. So that's really, we let the designer series paper do all the work. Then we have this lovely one where we did some heat embossing with these white snowflakes. And I'm gonna show you how to use your Stamparatus to get all of those snowflakes on there at one time. And then go ahead and heat emboss them. And then of course we used the um, balmy blue to cut off our tag for our sentiment and then some lovely die cut snowflakes. So that's our second stepped up project. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with our beginners project. And for that, we have a piece of pool party, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of whisper white that is five and a quarter by four. We're gonna use that for the inside. I have a piece of Pacific Point that is again five and a quarter by four, and that will be our first layer. And then I cut a piece of that designer series paper, and that is five by three and three quarters, and that's what we're going to stamp on and then just adhere that down. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is I want to pull in my stamp and pierce mat because these are photopolymer stamps. So I don't want to, um, I want to make sure I have this, so I get a nice clean stamp. I'm going to take my Pacific Point and I'm going to take this little stamp that's kind of like a collection of different snowflakes. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this on the inside of my card, just to kind of give that card a little bit of personality. I'm gonna flip it around and there we go. Maybe I'll do it across the top and across the bottom. And we'll do it like that, and then we'll come in here and we'll do it like that. Okay, so that's it for our inside. I'm going to keep it real sweet and simple. I'm going to go ahead and put on some of my stamp and seal. Um, and this is the stamp and seal plus. I really like the way this holds. It holds really well, and it goes on very easily. So here we go. 
We're just gonna put that down in there. That's all we're gonna do there. We're gonna come in with our Pacific Point layer and we're gonna go ahead and layer that right on top. And again, this is a simple stamping project. So there's not going to be a lot of embellishments and adornments and all the other stuff that we would normally have because this is a project that somebody who's new to stamping can be very successful in completing. Just a couple of layers of cardstock and all of my cardstock is usually one quarter of an inch shorter all the way around than the layer it sits on. So if my base layer is four and a quarter by five and a half, my next layer would be four by five and a quarter. And then my next layer would be three and three quarters by five. So that just a little bit of that peeks out. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stamp our sentiment on here. And I believe I picked um, May Your Season, May Your Season Sparkle, I couldn't even read it. And again, I'm gonna stamp this in our balmy blue. That's one of our coordinating colors. Sorry, not our balmy blue, our Pacific Point. And I'm just going to stamp that in the lower left corner. And then I was going to take a few more of these random snowflakes. And I'm just going to kind of grace my sentiment with them just a little bit, maybe just two of them. And that looks good to me. So we're going to go ahead and leave that as is. And we are ready to go ahead and put this on our card base. Now, you can always go ahead and jazz this up by adding some of those um, blue shimmer gems, or we have our little uh, Season of Snowflakes sparkle um, stick-ons, not Season of Snowflakes, our little snowflake self-adhesive um, gems that you can go ahead and put on there. So that's it, that's really it for our first one. Very short, very sweet, very simple. I think that's great for a beginning stamper. Let's go. All right, so now we're gonna work on our more detailed or more elaborate card. And for this, we're going to pull in our Stamparatus because I wanna show you how we're going to do the front of that card with that Knight of Navy. So I'm going to lay my Knight of Navy on my, P on my Stamparatus. And this is a five and a quarter by four. Then I'm going to take, and I'm going to lay down the snowflake images that I want to use. And I might change the layout at some point, but for now, I'm just going to get started and I'm just going to put them down. Now, some of these will be stamping off the paper. That's okay. That's kind of the look I was going for. And I'm just going to go ahead and put all of these down here. I just want to get a nice random assortment of snowflakes. Maybe we'll put that one up there. So when you have the snowflakes the way you think you want them, maybe we'll move this one over here a little bit. Just get those snowflakes on there however you want. I think I'm using about six or seven of the different images. Maybe put that one there. Okay, when it, you think it looks good, go ahead and close the cover of the Stamparatus. And that's going to pick up all of those lovely snowflakes. And then you can come back in. Before we do that, I do wanna run my static thing over my piece of paper. This helps, supposedly, helps the embossing powder from sticking where you don't want it. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and get our snowflakes. Our snowflakes are on there. We have them where we want them. So now I'm going to ink up my snowflakes with my Versamark stamp. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just going to get those snowflakes really well inked with the Versamark. Okay. Then I'm going to put my plate back and I'm going to close my plate down over my cardstock. I'm gonna make sure that I get all of my snowflakes in here. Now, some of them are going to be off the cardstock. That's fine. That's the look I was going for. And if we lift it up, we can see that we have that lovely Versamark ink all over our cardstock. Now I'm going to pull in a little embossing powder tray and I'm going to take my white embossing powder and I'm just going to kind of lay down a coat 
to coat up all of those snowflake images. I'm going to kind of tip it through my, my embossing tray just to make sure I can get all of those snowflake images covered up. And if you're wondering where I got this embossing tray from, I think I picked it up in Michael's years ago, probably 15 or 20 years ago. That's how old it is. But it does come in handy for heat embossing. So I'm going to just kind of tap my card. Hopefully that'll get most of it off. There's still some on there. You can see that. So we want to get that off. I'm going to come in with a little brush. I'm just going to kind of brush some of that off. Hopefully I can get most of it off. And this, this is the part that takes a little bit of patience when you're working with embossing paste. Let me just, one of those doesn't look like it got a lot of good powder on there. Okay. Just tap it sometimes. That kind of gets it off too. So I'm going to take a different brush. That one's kind of hard. Let's see if we can get some of this other one off. The only thing I don't like about the embossing powder. Now, technically, that, running that, piece over it, that little bag over it should have worked, but for some reason it didn't work that well today, and I don't know why. Okay, some of it we can cover up with our label, and we do it. Some of it is just going to be there, and that's, we're just going to have to learn to live with that. Nothing is ever perfect, even in life, snowflakes aren't perfect, so we're just going to have to learn how to deal with those imperfections and hide them with gems and ribbons. Okay, we're going to take our heat tool and we're going to run it over these snowflakes until that white embossing powder turns shiny. And I don't know if you could see that, but they'll start to turn shiny and that means that the embossing powder is set. Okay. The heat gun gets a little hot, so you might have to turn where your finger is. And this just takes a little bit of practice and patience. It's okay. Some people go underneath, some people go on top. I've done it both ways. I honestly haven't noticed a difference in how it works, whether you do it from the top or the bottom. So if you want to try that experiment, you can go ahead and do it. All right, we're going to lay this aside for now. This looks pretty good. One more little bit over there. We're going to lay this aside and we're going to finish the rest of our card. I'm just going to put that off to the side. So I'm going to come in with my base, which is balmy blue. It's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of whisper white for the inside that is five and a quarter by four. And I'm going to take my Knight of Navy ink. I'm going to stamp those images from our first card. I'm going to stamp them right here again on the inside just to kind of give that inside just a little bit of personality. We'd like to make sure that our inside is as pretty as our outside. So and I always suggest that you stamp this before you put that piece on the inside of the card because if you make a mistake stamping it's much easier to flip it over and correct it before you've adhered that down, but if that's already stuck in there and then you stamp, it's much harder to fix the mistake. On the outside, you can always cover it up with a ribbon or a gem or a label, but the inside's a little bit harder. So there we go, we've got our inside done. Okay, now we're gonna take that piece that we've just heat embossed and we're going to stamp that, stick that down. See, we've done that. We're going to stick that right there. And if you want to make multiples of these cards for your holidays, once you have those snowflakes in there, it's easy to just go ahead and stamp over and over. I love the Stamparatus for that very reason. Okay, so we're going to stick that down there. Now I've come here with a piece of balmy blue, that glimmer paper, and this is one and a half inches by about four and I've punched with the triple banner punch and here's a little pro tip that little piece that comes out on that banner punch you can actually use the dies the smallest snowflake die to punch out another little snowflake so none of that 
goes to waste. I'm gonna come back in, this is a piece of Whisper White. It's one inch by again, about four inches and I've trimmed it down a little bit. And I'm going to come in with our Knight of Navy and our Snowflake Wishes for a Merry Christmas stamp. And we're just going to stamp that right on this piece of Whisper White. Okay. And then we're going to put this on top of our balmy blue glimmer paper. So we're gonna bring back our stamp and seal plus because this is gonna hold great to that glimmer paper. A little bit more on the end, okay? And I'm gonna match up the ends. I wanna match up the ends. Don't ask me why I turn it around. I don't think it really helps me do it any better, but I don't know, I'm gonna say it makes me place it better. We're gonna go with that, how's that sound? So now we've got that. We're gonna put this onto our card front with a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm just gonna kinda stagger where they're going, maybe about four. And we're gonna go ahead and put this onto our card base. Once we get all these little paper pieces off. All right, we're gonna put that right there. We're gonna line that up with the edge of our Knight of Navy, and then I've cut some of the snowflakes out from that blue glimmer paper. And I'm just gonna put on the two little ones I can put on with one of our mini dimensionals. So that's perfect if I can pick them up. These little mini dimensionals are just the right size. I'm gonna put maybe one down there. I'm gonna take another one and maybe put another one right up here. And then I'm gonna take a glue dot because you see these lovely cutouts. We really can't use a dimensional on these, but I can use one of my glue dots. So I'm gonna take a glue dot and I'm gonna to have to kind of like roll it a little bit. So I'm gonna take it here and I'm just gonna kind of roll it so it becomes kind of small and just adhere that to the back. And that should fit kind of really perfectly in between those openings. And we're gonna put him right there. And that's it for our stepped up Snowflake Splendor card. So I hope you enjoyed these two. Check in the bottom, I'll have a link to my blog post with all the dimensions and a shopping list if you wanna recreate these cards. Happy stamping everyone.